Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Storytime. I am your host, Roman Sanzo. And, well, I got a story for you this week. So, um... As you guys may have guessed, um, there was no show last week. And there, the, the, this episode is coming out way earlier than normal. Uh, usually Mondays or uh, usually videos that post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesday would be the news show and Thursday would be the review and the, the variety show. I'll say the variety show. And the Patreon will get an early access to the variety show. Um, But for this one, uh, it, it's kind of a update slash explanation on why there were no shows last week. Oof, boy, uh, this is going to be hard. So anyway, um, uh, last Sunday, the 16, was it? I think so. Give me a second, eh? Oh, uh, yes, the 16. So, yeah, uh, last week, the 16th of July. Um, sorry. Um, the 16th of July, my father passed away. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, he was in the... Putrajaya Hospital, and he passed at 12.45. Uh, they tried to resuscitate him for half an hour, but that they, they, they couldn't do anything about it, so they pronounced him dead. I'm not sure how um, medically it works, but they, they, just, they, they just told the timeline and so on. So, um, yeah, uh, if you're wondering what's the reason for his passing, um, well, he was ill. How how the person? He was. He came down with the dengue fever, and it was very bad. Um, and you're probably wondering, wait, what? How how did this happen? Blah blah blah. So I I'll just put a summary of event. My father was was supposed to go to work on Thursday. He took a flight from my state, which is down south, 350 kilometers away from uh, Kuala Lumpur. And he took a flight uh, took a flight up to Kuala Lumpur for his work because uh, he's working in South Sudan. So he's working there. Okay, so uh, that's how, it, that's why the airport and stuff. So um, before that, on the Monday, he he and my mother were sick. Um, they both have the cold and flu, something like that. Uh, they, they were both knocked out. So... I took care of my mom, took care of my dad, you know, just make sure they're well hydrated and whatnot and so on. And on the next day, um, sent my mother to the clinic and invited my dad, who said, nah, he didn't want to. And okay, I mean, uh, adults, uh, I'm sorry, uh, old people being old people, um, they're stubborn in their ways. so. Eh, can't, can't do much. And my mom uh, went for a blood test just to make sure that it's not dengue. So for her, it was a negative. Just drink a lot of water, keep hydrated, take some aspirins, and get a lot of rest kind of deal. All right. As for my father, since he didn't follow, we got no idea. So we're assuming that if my mom was negative, Probably my dad was negative for dengue fever. Yeah, uh, so anywho, did the same thing. Drink water, hydrate, 
the uh, get some aspirins and so on, and we'll see how it goes. A um, few days go by. It seems like he's gotten better. He had some appetite, so does my mom. But you know, um, still feeling crappy because cold and whatnot. So yeah, we 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 took it one step at a time. Make sure everything was a okay. Then on the Thursday, like I mentioned before, uh, he got ready for work. We 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 kind of asked, "Are you sure you're fit to go and whatnot?" And him being him, he said, "Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm cool. I I I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go." So we sent him to the airport, said goodbyes, and just make sure he was safe. We went back, we did our thing, and on the night, I think about 1 a.m., something like that, so that's technically on the Friday, um, we got a call from the Protojaya Hospital saying that our dad was in the hospital. He kind of got a stroke. I'll explain that later. Uh, got a stroke, and he's in the hospital now. Oh, crap. So, my sister, and her husband um, went straight to a uh, to the hospital via uh, driving there. So they drove there and got some news update. It wasn't a stroke. Um, it was dengue. Uh, the stroke part was um, he was in the airport and he was kind of wobbly, um, kind of not feeling well and whatnot. And people were concerned, and they called a medic for him. Uh, when the medic came, he would, they asked, uh, "How are you doing, sir?" Blah blah blah. And uh, my father said, "Oh, I, I can't feel my left side; it's kind of numb." So that's kind of a sign of, "Oh, um, a person having a stroke. That's bad." So that's why they assumed that he had a stroke. But you know, uh, it was just. They didn't really do any blood tests or whatnot. It's just from general uh, medical knowledge and whatnot. But anyway, um, at the hospital, so at the hospital they say it was dengue and whatnot. But uh, when they check, when when they did a proper checkup, they discovered a few other things that were kind of bad. And if you're wondering, wait, what medical check now? Why? What? Uh, the thing is, my father was a bit stubborn, as you can tell, and he didn't really want to visit any doctors at all. So we got no idea about his health condition and whatnot. And th there were signs, honestly, there were signs, but we weren't really expert in the field of medicine, so we didn't really know what they were or what they mean. In hindsight, um, we should have probably forced his ass to the doctor and whatnot, but eh, hindsight is 2020. But anyway, um, in the hospital, he was sent to the ICU, and there he was given medical treatment and so on. So, since my sister and her husband went to the hospital earlier. Uh, it left me and my mother and her two kids with us. So on the Friday, we kind of um, stayed a bit and just played by ear, see if the situation was improving or getting worse. Uh, if it was getting worse, we'll straight book a flight straight up to KL and just go to the hospital. If it's getting better, we'll get ready the home here, um, make sure everything is proper, proper, you know, um, bedding and whatnot, all that stuff, because um, I live in a two-story house, so that usually sleeps upstairs, but uh, if he was not feeling too okay, 
we don't want him to exert himself by walking up stairs. So we're going to set the guest bedroom and whatnot. So yeah, um, that was the initial plan. And we got the call from my sister saying that things are getting a bit grim. Come up now. So we did. We booked flight uh, the earliest we can get and head off to uh, KLIA. That's the Kuala Lumpur International Airport. So we did that and we visit the hospital. And this was on the Saturday. A lot of family members came by to visit and uh, whatnot. And when we were there, uh, they put him on uh, sedative, sedative, something like that. So he was kind of in and out. But I, I think from what the doctors said that he was conscious, but uh, sleeping kind of thing. Like, not really put into a coma, but resting. So we we visited him, we talked to him and so on, blah, blah, blah. And it was it was a bit emotional. I'll, I'll say that. Emotional. So after the visit, we we, we hung around, visit again and so on. And the hospital's visiting policy on the weekends is uh, 12 to 7 with no break. So yeah, you can come in any time. Usually on a weekday, the visiting hours are at 12 to 2 and I think 4 to 7, if I think. I, I don't remember. But usually that's the schedule on the weekends. So lucky for us, we all managed to visit him, all my relatives and so on. So um, after the visit, we went back to the hotel, uh, get ready for dinner with some family, thanking them for coming um, by and, you know, just um, just being there for us. So after that, we went to bed and we got the call from the hospital saying that you guys need to come here now. And we did. And we were given the bad news. Sorry. I, I think this is the first time that I've really talked to anyone about this. No, I mean, I, I, I talk to people about it, but it's just that this is the first time that I've talked about it at length with you guys, I guess. I mean, obviously, this is the first time because you're hearing this, but it's just in detail and so on. But yeah. Oh. So, anywho, um, after hearing the passing and early what I mentioned before, the timing and so on, um, we. Goodbyes and uh, just sign any documents and so on. And we head back to the hotel because the next day we need to get up early because we need to do the funeral. Um, yeah, I know you're wondering why so soon and so on. Um, because uh, reasons, <laughs> religious reasons. I'm not gonna uh, embellish that much. Anywho, um, uh, we, uh, we we rest for a bit. The the hotel was amazing and whatnot, but and everything in the mini bar and the countertop for the first time is free. But in all honesty, I couldn't give a crap. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Um, so we. We, we 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 didn't sleep well. We we were just crappy, man. Like we 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 felt it was like a punch in the gut, and we were winded. So we got ready. We got up. We do this stuff. Um, I 
we we went to the hospital uh we did uh, we, we signed documents we we went to the morgue and make sure that this is your father and so on yes we, it is and um i wrote in the uh, i think uh, mm, uh this is a bit different culturally i i think because um over here the way we at least with my religion the way we um transport our dead is in a van and also inside of a coffin i think probably yeah uh and we uh there's a driver the assistant and there should be seats so basically you can have uh, i set in the car uh, sorry the van and uh, my uncle and my uh another person also sat in the car uh and we went to the place and uh, i'm sorry um so anyway um, I, i'm 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 forgetting something because i was keeping in contact with a friend in my state he's kind of a good friend and we i i, I told him them that uh my father just passed and they couldn't believe it and couldn't really sleep so they surprised me by booking a plane uh the the earliest they could get and flew to where i am uh when we were at the hospital uh, dealing with stuff when i saw him i i just I'm, i i just like broke down and, and uh, how do i put it i was i won't say humble but i was what's the word i'm looking for there's a word there's a word but i was glad that he, they were there i'm it, it was it was touching like they didn't really have to do it but they did because they wanted to not because of something and it was it was something special oh anyway um we went to the cemetery after that and we uh, we, we 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 put him into the grave and um yeah we, we said goodbye and so on and it's just that oh man the whole experience felt so unreal it, it it was just shocking i say because here's the thing um when i mentioned earlier before that uh, we sent our dad to work and whatnot and his timing for work is usually 70 days at work 30 days at home and that's the whole mo for a while now so it, we're kind of used to the idea of him not being at home a lot but for now i think that's kind of the feeling that we have but when we hit the 71 day mark and so on that's i that's where we that's where we that's right. personally that's where i think we'll feel it where oh He's not coming back. He's move on. And I feel like that's where the crux or how one word or that's where the that's where, that's when reality will hit for us. So oh uh, yeah, um things are going to be rough, I guess. I mean we'll manage somehow yes so anywho um as for the podcast uh it's gonna be a bit slow until i recover for a bit also um uh this uh this is more 
for the variety show because the new show is I mentioned to you before if there's no news that appealing to me to report on they won't be any news uh, minimum three or so so yeah um the new show probably will be affected by this too if so on but yes um back on topic back on topic uh, so i'll try and get things done soonish with new recordings and so on just to get the ball rolling again just to get the momentum going the the in the energy you know just just to get that going again um so what we'll be reviewing i don't know we, we've kind of done equestria girls um from what the guys told me there's one more left something to do with something so okay that's going to be put on the back burner we'll see how that goes and for the second part of that review um i'm not sure probably we'll do something with the uh new pony thing the little billy something like that i guess we can do that and so on but yeah um so that's that that um that's how the that, that's planning i'm not 100 percent sure yet um so yeah i'm sorry for the lack of episode and here's the reason why um i, I guess you can say that's an excuse for not having an episode but i hope you guys understand the reason why but i did mention that i had a story so yeah um story time um i guess that was also a story but bonus bonus usually like this for the patrons but you guys are lucky this time <laughs> um so oh man let's see what 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 can i do um yeah i, I guess i can tell a story about this one do you guys remember the game Contra on the NES or the arcade? But mostly on the NES. So my, my dad and I, we when we when I was younger, when we were younger, we played the game Super C, or if you're in Japan, it's called Super Contra. But anywho, yeah, Super C. Uh, we played that at home. So this this was another home. This was a uh yeah this was another home so the situation was um i was living with my parents mom and dad sister and also big grandpa uh he took the guest bedroom mom's upstairs sleeping sister in the kids room and yeah me and dad were down below playing video games uh i don't know Oh, why we decided to play uh, Contra? But we did, we did. So we, I think we started at around nine, something like that. It's, it's been a while. When you're a kid, staying up late is something special. So anyway, um, let me process things. So we, give me a second, sorry. Yeah, all right. So we started playing. And here's the thing, we got no idea about the city life cheat code, so why not? So we played it from scratch like normal with no cheat. So we played and played, we tried to get on, get further in the level. Um, since I was a scrub, I kind of died on certain levels, especially the very beginning with the slope going down. If you play Super C, Super C you know what, I'm, what I mean with the slope. But we tried. We we tried. Um, when I was when I was our life, I put some of this to uh, progress, and yeah, we uh, tried to we, we tried to beat the game. That's the thing. The, the goal was to beat the game. But at the same time, too, um, I was coughing with a dry cough. I I don't remember if I was sick or not, but it was just a dry cough. Probably kid stuff problem, you know. But we were playing, we were playing, uh, me and him, we had fun. Uh, we kept playing and I kept coughing. Uh, and that, I guess, annoyed my grandpa who came out. 
saying that, oh, uh, shouldn't me go to bed because coughing and whatnot. And that was just like, ah, ignore him and so on. And we, we kept playing, but yeah, I mean, when, when you're a kid, you know. So anywho, um, I played with him a bit and if I remember right, we, we, we played a lot. We, we played and uh, when I was out, I, I decided, no, uh, this is too hardcore for me. I, I couldn't. So I, I'll just stay. I, I'll, I'll, I won't play, but I'll support you morally from the sidelines. And I think he finished the game. Uh, he finished the game and I was there to witness it. It was, it was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And I have to say that that was the most memorable memories uh, memory I had of him growing up. And yeah, uh, it was it was it was oh god. Um, it was, it was just, it was a special memory. Playing Contra with him and just, just having fun playing video games. That, that was awesome. And I think that's where I got my love for video games because of that moment, I guess. I mean, obviously, I played other things before. Like my first time piercing video games was at a um, cousin's place where they had the Nintendo playing Mario and Max PC. I I, I don't remember the race, well, the bike game. But yeah, uh, that was the first time. But this was something else. This this was a core memory. Where just we're we're just playing a game with someone special, you know. But yeah, um, honestly, I personally I haven't really finished. Contra on my own, or Super C on my own, uh, I, I did manage to beat Contra with the 30 life seat, and uh, it's on Steam, so yeah, that <laughs> that's something else. So, yeah, um, with... I, I guess Contra is something special, like, it, it's a fun game to boot. So, that was something else. So you're probably wondering, since the game is on Steam, did I ask my dad to play it with me? Uh, I, I guess that's my biggest regret, not asking him to play with me. And... Uh, I, I guess that's just the biggest regret I have, not... Asking him to play Contra with me again. I mean, it's on Steam. I could have asked if he wanted to play, but I have a feeling that he'll say no. Or he say, oh, there's too many buttons in the controller. What do they do? And yeah, they, those buttons those buttons have effect. Um, you press the shoulder button, something happens. So, yeah. Excuses. But, oh, man. Uh, I really wish I did ask him, but my workspace here is a bit tight, so I got no idea where he would sit and so on. But I, I regret not asking him. At least, if I could, it would be one of those things where we could relive the golden days of playing Contra, trying to beat the boss. But since I'm older now and I'm doing, and I know what I'm doing. We can try and beat the game, right? 
Yeah, but no, they they they, they didn't that didn't happen. So yeah, Contra was a special game for us. Oh boy. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, and I, I'm taking so much time for from you guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, let's let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. Uh, new episode will come out next week, I guess, or another week from now, because I do need to record the review and discussion podcast or the variety show that is. Uh, news will probably if there's any content i'll be sure to add it in and you'll get a new show next week but besides that yeah um apologies for the lack of content for this month i guess things has been pretty crappy for me yeah so anyway, um, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with a, another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.